Oyagala mukuru ku gwenja olugobere ne bijukize mu nyumba yo. Kankwanjulire Backing Montage Photo Studio. Fiba kafuru mukube bifananyi. No call of video. Oli na wedding, birthday party, kuchala, nika, baby shower, photo shoot oba music shoot. Na buli kimu kyo nacho oyagala. Fetu subulu kuwe bijukize ebirungi. Ebi biroto byo. Ate no mwana watu kusintize omuntu wa buli jo. Tusange bonna nkula bikubitala. Ku Prime Tower, Level 3, Room D04. Okumanya bisingawo. Tukubire ku namba zino. Note musavu note biri, emu note nya, emu biri tano. Oba, noti musavu tano tano, satu emu emu, musavu satu emu, oba, noti musavu musavu musavu, noti bili satu, nya noti tano. King Montage Photo Studio, fitu sobolo kuwe bijukize bironji, atenu mwana watu kusinti izo mtu waburi jo. Hello friends, welcome back to Love Media where we spread love. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. Today we gonna look at the most sexiest celebrities in Nigeria and we gonna look at Elaho Eva Olordaya. Come any day or any time, Eva is one of my most favorite rapper of all time in Nigeria, her crazy but calm way has attracted thousands of fans to her. Eva Olordaya is a hip-hop diva from Delta State. She is known for her spitfire rap lyrics which are simply amazing. However, rapping lyrics isn't her only occupation. She is also a makeup artist, a model, a designer, and an entrepreneur. Which is a very impressive list for a woman. You will not be able to take your eyes off her body and piercing eyes, once you start listening to her music. Elohor Eva Alordaya, born August 13, 1989, comma for better known as Eva Alordaya or simply Eva, is a Nigerian rapper, entertainer, makeup artist, fashion designer, and entrepreneur. 5 6 She is considered one of the best female rappers in Nigeria. 7 8 Since her breakthrough into the Nigerian music industry, Eva has garnered several awards, including one Nigeria Entertainment Award from four nominations, one Eloy Award, and one Yem Award from two nominations. 9 Her debut EP, titled The GIGOE.P, was Released for free digital download on November 20, 2011. Eva is the owner of Makeup by Ursula, a company that specializes in makeup services. 6 In November 2014, Eva released her self titled second EP. Her debut studio album, 1960, the album, was released in September 2016. 10 Ref monthly event for the celebration, Empowerment of Women set to hold first edition. Pulse Nigeria. August 17, 2016. Retrieved May 28, 2020. Eva Olordaya was born to Nigerian parents from Delta State. She got introduced to music by her mother, who listened to musical recordings from the 1970s and 1980s. 11 12 Eva has cited Michael Jackson, Bob Marley, Sada Adu, The Carpenters, John Lennon, and Don Williams as her musical influences. Eminem's Cleanin' Out My Closet inspired her to pursue a professional rap career. When she was seven years old, she partook in several forms of art, continuing into her adolescence. She sang in her church's choir and joined the drama club while in secondary school. Growing up, Eva was fond of drawing and reading books for. At age 10, she wrote a short story in her notebook and dreamt of being an author. After learning of Eminem, she began to write rap verses. Eva's love for words and rhyming pulled her deeper into the hip-hop genre for at age 16, Eva found herself balancing school and business. With an ambition to make money and become independent, she started auditioning for acting and modeling roles. Eva sold second-hand clothing in school as a means to an end 12 Eva began her career as a photography model. She took pictures and auditioned for several jobs 12 she graduated with a degree in computer science from Bowen University 11. In 2009, Eva released I Day Play as her first ever studio recording. The song features THA Suspect and was recorded over Lil Wayne's Amelie Instrumental 1314 Eva was featured on Make M Say, a song from one of Strabutta's mixtapes 15 the music video for the song, released in January 2011, was created by Rikib of Strabutta. Eva made her TV debut in the music video 16 she later appeared on the female version of DHA Suspect's song I Know Send You.17 the video for I Know Send You was released in March 2011 18. Eva started working on her debut EP, the GIGOE.P, 
as an independent artist. The EP is an acronym for Garbage In Garbage Out and was released on November 20, 2011. It comprises nine songs and was released for free digital download. The EP was supported by four singles, I Done Did It, Down Low, Garbage Out, Your Fada, and Hi. The EP's production was handled by Sasek, Tintin and Grey John Z. I Done Did It was produced by Sasek and released as the EP's lead single 1920 in a 2012 interview with Halle Bondi of MTV Iggy, Eva said she was honored to have worked with the aforementioned producers. She also said she had fun recording the EP 21 Eva released the second single high in 2012. The music video for the single was directed by Mex and released on May 24, 2012. It was uploaded onto YouTube at a total length of 4 minutes and 37 seconds 22. The video premiered on MTV Base in May 2012. 23 when the video was released, many people misconstrued the meaning of the song and thought that it alluded to drug use. In the aforementioned interview with Bondi of MTV Iggy, Eva said that the song is about overcoming the struggles and hardships of Life 21. It was reported in May 2012 that Eva signed a record deal with Detribe 2.0, a record label owned by record producer and recording artist ELD24 in November 2013, Aria Today reported that Eva was dropped from Tribe Records. According to the press release signed by the management of the recording outfit, Eva's ideas and foresight didn't align with the label's plans. 25 In an interview with Bellinaja, Eva denied reports about being signed to Tribe Records despite the press release statements from the label. 26 After the Tribe Records saga in 2012, she took a break from the music scene and spent time reflecting on her craft. For in February 2013, she worked with producer Sasek to release Mercy a song that was made available for download on her blog site. The song was produced and co-written by the aforementioned producer 27 in December 2013, UK producer Drox featured her in the music video for Mercy.2829 He released several official remixes of the song, including a summer mix and a Jack and Storm mix 3031 in August 2013, Eva signed a management deal with Radioacti IV4 also in August 2013, Nokia Nigeria enlisted her as one of the judges for its annual Don't Break the Beat competition 32. 2014, present 1960 and other releases. On July 29, 2013, Eva released the promotional single Lights Out.33 The song was produced by Grey John Z. The music video for the song was directed by Patrick Ellis 34 in an interview with the Leadership newspaper, Eva said she recorded the song to showcase her versatility as an artist 5. Work on Eva's debut studio album started as early as 2012. The album is being produced by Tintin and Grey Johnsy. On January 24, 2014, Eva released Def as the album's lead single. The song which was produced by Grey John Z, premiered three months after the premiere of the Lights Out Video 35. The music video for Def was shot and directed by Patrick Ellis 36. The song has been remixed by rapper Bugay 37. Eva stated in an interview that she loves creating visual content, and has successfully co-directed all of her music videos to date for to promote the single. Eva organized a rap competition exclusively for Girls 38. Eva was featured in the Lagos edition of BBC Radio 1 Extras Live Lounge alongside M.I, Two-Face Edabia, Wizkid and Iyanya 39 as part of the feature, artists were asked to freestyle 3940 Eva collaborated with Buna Boy, India, Young L, and Sarko D on a song that was initially intended to be a theme song for the third season of MTV Bass's Suga. Instead of using the Chopsticks produced song, MTV Bass chose Del B's Sweet Like Suga track which features vocals from Flavor and Abanya, Sound Sultan, Chitinma, Xi, and Professor. The unreleased theme song was leaked online and made available on Not Just OK 41 on March 11, 2014, she released her version of the unreleased theme song titled Suga.42. On August 31, 2014, this day newspaper reported that Eva became an ambassador of Guinness Nigeria's Made of Black campaign alongside Olamide and Fino.
Eva performed at the campaign's launch and was featured in the campaign's television commercial 43 on September 25, 2014, War Coming was released as the upcoming album's second single. The song was produced by Tintin and features guest vocals from Sir Dada 44 on November 6, 2014, 1960 was announced as the title of Eva's debut studio album, which was slated for a January 2015 release. The album will feature guest collaborators such as Derry Art Alad, Femi Kuti, Yemi Alad, Olamide, Sarko D, and Sir Dada. On November 20, 2014, Eva released a self-titled second EP for free digital download 45 on March 6, 2015, Eva premiered the music video for War Coming, which was directed by Mex46. On March 1, 2016, Eva released her second mixtape titled Because You've Been Waiting. It comprises five songs and features a sample of DMX's 2000 single What These Bitches Want. Thanks for watching, have a nice day. Oyagala omukuru ku gwenja olugobere ne bijukize mu nyumba yo kan kwanjulire Backing Montage Photo Studio fiba kafuru mu kuba bifananyi no kola video oli na wedding birthday party kuchala nika baby shower photo shoot oba music shoot na buli kimu kyo nacho oyagala fetu subulo kuwa bijukize birungi ebi biroto byo ate no mwana watu kusintize omuntu wa buli jo tusange bonna nkula bikubitala ku Prime Tower Level 3 Room D04 okumanya bisingawo tukubire ku namba zino note mu sabu note 2 emu note nya emu 25 Oba, noti musavu tano tano, satu emu emu, musavu satu emu, oba, noti musavu musavu musavu, noti bili satu, nya noti tano, King Montage Photo Studio, fetu sabolo kuwe bijukize bironji, ate no mwana watu kusinti zomu tuwabuli jo.